cut out bits just to see how what was going on with the roof up here. And it was just plywood glued to the aluminium outer frame there. Um, I've loosened it all off. I'm going to take the aluminium off now. I'm just on this side. Pull out the plywood. We'll replace that hopefully very soon. And then I'll need to make some repairs to the aluminium, weld up some holes that aren't needed anymore and put it all back together. What lurks beneath? Ew. So this is the plywood that we're going to take off. It's yeah, literally just been joined on the top. It's recessed into this frame a little bit more. So we'll have to cut that and then work out how we how we put it back on afterwards. It's actually built really well. Line of the roof uh, front to back is actually curved. So it's curved in that direction and obviously curved in that direction. So curved in two planes, which is which is really rather neat. This is amazing. So good, so smooth, so light, sucks up all the dust. What's not so amazing is this corner where the wood's rotted from the you can't put it back the way it is since it needs some work. I've soldered up some holes here uh, with aluminium brazing rods. Just with a blow torch you heat the base metal up and use the um, aluminium rod to, to fill the, the little holes, which worked really well for uh, the screw holes. But these larger holes were um, we had cable glands running through, it didn't work so well. So I've decided to, to keep the weather out and I'll recite the solar panels and make use of those those existing holes. The other area that we need to have sealed up is the the seam along the side there. Um, it was it was tack welded in a few places. It wasn't welded the, the entire length. Um, I would like to weld it again but don't have access to any welding kit at the moment and um, can't can't really go out to get some. So um, on the Dutch Barge Association website, they've recommended, or one of the members recommended this quick steel, which is an aluminium epoxy um, putty, and it sets as hard as metal within an hour. Apparently, it can handle temperatures from 260 degrees to minus 68, which is pretty amazing. So, looks fairly simple to, to put together. I'm going to give it a crack. On the inside here, where it's been joined, they've done a couple of little small welds. But it's not welded along the whole seam, so there's a gap there of probably two mil. And that's the corner that's... That, um, where all the wood underneath has been really rotted because there's just been loads of moisture getting in there all the time. So I'm going to put the liquid metal all the way along the inside of that seam. So it says you could just twist a bit off and then start kneading it. I'm going to put it inside a plastic bag to do it because so it's fairly, fairly nasty on your hands. So I'm not sure the plastic bag is the best idea. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Says that after an hour you can drill, tap, or machine this stuff. So it's tricky. You've got three to four minutes to work with it before it starts to too hard to work with. So I'm going to wait for this to set, um, see what it's like, and whether it's giving me the, the finish that I want. It looks like it will. It's pretty promising. Um, I'm going to do the other side. I need to. I need to clean up the surface on the other side before I, I do that. Um, then the plan is, I've got foam to glue onto the inside of this roof. Then we'll put ply on, and then I want to coat all the wood in a, um, in a with an epoxy resin to keep it waterproof and, and strong. Then the aluminium with the foam in 
inside will slide on top of the wood frame and then we'll screw it in place. And we'll be finished. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to get the plywood at the moment. Yeah. This corner's where a lot of moisture has gotten through. You can see the underneath side of what's happened to this corner and mm. all that wood's just rotted so. That makes that exactly the same width as those bits. So, placing those rails so we can secure these to this board, um, give it a bit more strength, and then we can cut another piece in there. I've done it. Hopefully, it'll do the job. <laughs> the liquid metal, or the what's it called, quick steel, did that quite well. It's going to need a lot more of it than I first thought. And then do the other end. Looking promising so far. <laughs> that didn't sound promising. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to Five Knots Cruising. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as it really helps us to get our video out to more viewers. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and ideas, so please drop us a line either on our Instagram page 